I'm just making a little demo CD of my Gladiator style music released through Sonaton. And I'm using an Apple to do this. And I'm using Apple Music to burn the CD. Then we want to make sure all these tracks are checked. You want to include them when you burn the CD. You want to right click and choose burn playlist to disk. You can choose the amount of seconds in between songs, etc, etc. So the next critical step is to place the multi-tray properly for a CD insertion. So we have the printer on, it's no jams or anything, and we have this little piece here and this little piece here. This is where we're going to stick the CD, but that's not the difficult part. The difficult part is making sure you have this all aligned properly. So this actually slides all the way in, and you push that in there, and it's ready to go. And you can see there's these little indicators here. Those are going to be lined up with this indicator here when the time is right. It will say insert blank CD on that screen here. And here's the CD we just burned. You can just kind of pull that back and it locks that CD in place, and that's the correct way to put it. So it'll stay nice and in place while it's printing. You need to install the Easy Photo Print Editor, which is for free, provided for your Canon printer. Assuming you have a model that can print discs. And then from the templates, you would use disc labels. It gives a variety of different templates here. I went with blank. And from blank, you can choose how big the dimensions of the inner disk are. And then from here, you can add your text. It gives some basic options. You can curve the text, etc. And then you can stamp it with various icons. Quite a few, actually. That's pretty cool. And then you have your images. You can select from your computer, specific photos, or from places online. And then you have some advanced mechanisms here. And then you would just click Next when you're ready to print. And from this screen, I'm choosing black and white because I'm running low on color. I got my printer selected. Page Attributes, we want to go into Media Quality and select CD DV tray and for media type printable disk recommended. I'm going to choose best quality and very important under page attributes I'm going to choose 120 by 120 mm which is going to give us these correct dimensions for the CD. If you don't do this it will never work. So then we go ahead and select print. Our printer is warmed up and ready to go. It's going to say processing. So we just wait one second while it's loading up here. I have my media tray ready to slide in. Say please insert a printable disk in this multi-purpose tray. And we want to make sure we align these tabs with those tabs. And we don't go past them. Okay, then I select OK here, pulling the disk in, slowly but surely, and it pretty much is going to take the whole disk inside, and it's going to start printing away. And off we go. This is what it sounds like when it's printing. The tray is fully engaged, printing the data, just another minute left spitting out my CD. Oh baby! Notice how it's perfectly straight. So we'll let that dry for one second. We'll take a look at it. We are finished with the final product. Came out perfect. Look at that. And look at that. We can just pop this right into a CD player. It's going to play automatically because it's an audio CD. Beautiful work.